Right, a very quick look at something. This is the H24 by Avatar and No Name. This was sent on to me by Vape Geek in the UK. This is 69.99 and it is a bottom feeder RDA. Inside you'll find one atty in here, you'll find spare o-rings, you'll find a standard 510 pin in there as well and you'll also find a stainless steel AFC. So here's the atty, it's 24mm in diameter and you can also see that right now I have the brass airflow ring on, it has an Ultum drip tip, markings on the bottom, H24, I've got the no name and avatar logos. Height wise you're looking about 26.8mm and if you want to get into this you just pull the top cap off, job done. Now the top cap itself is made from Delrin, I mean the whole thing is it's quite thin Delrin, I mean I can, I can squeeze that, you can see there's movement in that there, you're looking at about 13.1 mil opening here, I'm sorry I can't tell you if that's goon fitment or not, I don't actually have any 810 drip tips handy, but it is wide bore. So I can unscrew this section here, uh, what you would do obviously is you know if you back this off you can then adjust the AFC, once you've got it in position you can then tighten that down and if you want you can pop the stainless steel one back on and you can also run this in single airflow control because you do have three holes going round here. It is threaded on the Delrin, it's threaded inside here and that just screws back down there like that. Now the deck, it's just a standard four post affair here, nothing to shout about, but it has an incredibly deep well, I mean it's very deep. And when squonking with this, it holds a bucket load of juice, it's quite impressive in that respect. It does come out about 6.3mm in depth, but uh, once again it's 24mm in diameter, 63 deep, so that, as I said, it does give a really deep well. Slapping the coils in, not an issue. Line up my air holes, and boom! On she goes, and that's it. Now this was sent on with a, a squonker, and I actually used this for a few days. I put it back in the box, and I did say that I wouldn't be reviewing this because, well, for various reasons. Uh, the reasons being, um, well, first off, the reason why I'm now recording the review is that I've got a spare half hour, and uh, and I felt bad that uh, Nat had Natalie had included it and I hadn't reviewed it, so I'm just making the most of my spare time just now. The reason I never reviewed it is it's seventy pounds, and to me, it's just too bloody expensive for what it is. Um, it's got such a basic deck. I mean, this is old school. This is an old old deck. There is nothing new about this at all. I've not seen a Delrin uh, top cap like this. I, I've, I've not seen a com just a standard Delrin top cap. It doesn't get hot, you know, you can bump the wattage up through this and, and it's great, it works fine. Uh, you do, however, have to really crank the power up to get any flavour out of it at all. Uh, if you're doing 0 0.5 or above on your builds, um, you, you'll get nothing, not a thing. Uh, I am right now, I'm at 50 watts on a 0 0.2 ohm build. And I am getting flavour through it, but it's mediocre at best. It's not, it doesn't excel. Um, possibly if you are one of these people that vapes about 80 to 85 watts and above, then you will probably enjoy this because of, you know, the size of the chamber and so on. But just know from me, I'm afraid, that's £70, I'm, yeah, it's stainless steel 316, yes you get a brass ring with it, you get a stainless steel ring with it, you've got that fancy Delrin top cap, uh, your Ultim drip tip, but it's just, in my humble opinion, and, and, I, and I may be completely wrong, but for me, it's just, it's old. I'm not saying that old is bad, uh, I'm just saying that I would expect more in this day and age for that kind of money. It just, the deck's just passed. It's just, we should be, for that kind of money, we should be looking for more innov innovation. That's it. Sorry, this isn't a, um, a mainly positive review, but they can all be great. Uh, and this one just falls into my meh category. But thank you to Natalie at vapegeek.co.uk for sending this on. To you guys, as always, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Bye now.